Привет, ребята, welcome, welcome back. Um, I am. I don't know that there are so many of them there. I, I don't think I'm in, in the proper shape to take them out right now. I think I'll just run past them instead and try to get to our main objective. Because this looks tricky. Let's just get past. Yeah. Looks like they need some more help. More stalkers in trouble with the uh, with the bandits. So we're gonna try and get there and help them out. And also eat a light snack. God, there's some anomaly nearby. Oh, what should be clear? Yeah, we're just throwing bolts to make sure we're not stepping into anything untoward. There we go. All right, here we are. These are the stalkers we need to talk to. Oh, he's wounded. Here, take one. We'll need his help. Help us fight off this scum first, brother. We'll talk later. All right. Guess we gotta deal with some more of those bandits. But at least we aren't on our own because that was not a good idea to try and attack all those people at once. There. Am I stuck between you guys? Let me get out of there. Kill one of those. Oh boy. Okay, we got one. I think our buddy's got a few as well. Well, we lost one of our guys, but I guess we won at least. Thanks for the help. Well, we need information about this Trelloc fella. And he's talking about Mole. Hmm. He's gonna be looking for me now, so I'm going to disappear. Yep, so we are basically being sent from contact to contact on a journey to on a journey to find Strelok and his his group. Uh, this is troublesome. Oh boy, I'm overloaded. Uh, let's give you your gun back for the moment and I'll try to sell some of this stuff to to the other stalkers here. I'm just checking whether I need to unload any of those guns. Yep. And then we'll see about selling stuff. That gun, that long pistol right there, that's a that's a standard gun. But it has an inbuilt silencer, which is kind of cool. So I think we're gonna take that. Yeah, don't worry. And we're gonna sell the rest of this junk if we can. They probably won't make the the best deal for us here, but uh, hopefully we can get some money out of this. Uh, that's a good shotgun, so we're gonna keep that one. Uh -huh. So these are damaged. Uh, he doesn't have that, mu mu that much money. Let's give him that and then let's also give him a bunch of those pistols. There we go. He doesn't really need all those pistols, of course, but we need to get rid of them. And yeah, maybe I can trade with you as well, yeah. yeah take that, no, that shotgun I wanted to keep, right? Um, I guess I'm gonna give you all these guns. Uh, I don't need an energy drink. Grenades I'm gonna keep because um, they are worth a lot of money, especially if you consider how light, how little they weigh. So they are a good investment in terms of uh, weight in relation to to money that you get out of it, while shotguns, for, ex for example, are pretty bad. They're not worth a lot, shotguns. Um, especially these these sawn-off shotguns aren't worth a lot, so try to get rid of them as quickly as possible, I think. These MP5s, on the other hand, they're pretty pretty good as well in terms of price. Oh, he died against the barrels. Okay. 
And there's another shotgun dude. And that right here, that's an addition that they put in with this complete mod. Uh, in the main game it was really difficult to repair weapons and stuff. Here you can go to uh, bartenders to repair a lot of different things. But you can also um, use these repair kits. Looks like there's some stuff in those crates including another bandit armor, which I'm gonna sell of course. And I'm pretty much overloaded. Alright, I think uh, I think we, we should probably make our way back to Bass and the others to sell them our junk and then we can uh, keep exploring. So yeah, this is where things get a little bit repetitive maybe. Because until I, I'm willing to progress in the main storyline, I probably should should probably try to get that gun first and I'm gonna need like uh, I have about half of the money that I need that's gonna take some time on the other hand we just got another precious artifact a stone blood artifact it makes you more vulnerable to a lot of damage types including bullets but your health regenerates more quickly which is uh, very useful oh looks like there's another artifact just lying on the road Right, we're gonna try and make our way back past these other bandits there and sell Bass and his buddies some stuff we don't need anymore. Um, as we are nearing our maximum capability of carrying, we actually passed our maximum, but we can always carry 10, I guess that's kilograms or pounds? Kilograms. We can always carry 10 kilograms more than he actually wants to. Um, at that point, we our stamina decreases really quickly, so I can only like do really short sprints. I can't even run anymore. So that's one of the main reasons I need to get rid of this junk as quickly as possible. And you 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 saw how much I run around in a couple of fights. Although sometimes I just stand still and try to snipe. But mobility is very important in this game, at least until you get proper armor. Right, there's Bass. I think he has still a bunch of money that that, uh, that I can... Oh, that, that's not Bass. Never mind. But he, he also has a lot of money. Okay. Now, just gonna sell some stuff right here. And then we're gonna keep exploring. Right. Um, I don't need these. But first things first, I'm gonna sell all this crap. Sounds like somebody is wounded. I'm gonna help them out in a moment. If I can. I think I can also sell one of those vodkas. Is there a wounded guy somewhere? Ugh, he's, he's in the fire. That's awful. Yeah, take your first aid kit. No idea what happened. What happened there, but I hope he's alright. Get out of the fire, you idiot! What the hell are you doing? And that other guy just sat right next to him and let him burn. That's awful. Hey, dude. Uh, some money. He doesn't have a lot. Can't really sell him much. Yeah, never mind. Hey Bass, I know you have tons of money. Mm, yeah. uh, Alright. I think that's about as empty as I'm gonna get in that regard. So, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna run back and try to do a little something before the end of this video. See, that's the advantage of having played this game way too much. Oh god. Can still run into anomalies though. Oof. Um, namely, that I know some secret locations for interesting items. And there's one here that I would really like to have right next 
to the area where we fought. Oh god. So dead. I'm so dead. Ah! Oh god. Ah, I survived it. But I'm bleeding all over the place. <sighs> so much for lots of experience with this game, right? Okay, there's an anomaly. I'm not gonna run in there. Come on, just just get through somehow. Alright, alright. Okay. So there um like that gun that I'm trying to buy, there's some other prototype weapons of sorts. One of them is hidden very closely to this area. And I hope I can get my hands on it. There might be some bandits nearby though. I'm gonna try to rush in. Nope, not talking to you guys. Right, now we're in the train tunnel. And it's full of anomalies, like so. Okay. Sometimes you can cause them to blow up. Like so. And then quickly jump past them. Other times you can just circumvent them like so. Oh god. Oh god. Pretty yet, folks. Welcome back. It not work nearly as well as I'd hoped it would. I'm currently still in a, in a situation where even a single hit from an anomaly can be enough to kill me. So getting through this stuff is really difficult. Especially since um, the radius is sometimes a bit difficult to to gauge, but oh god. Okay, we made it past at least, and this is why we came here. This dude, Vasaya Bourbon, he died here, and he had with him an interesting gun. It looks basically the same as the other MP5, but it uses the, the simpler, um, the, the, the basic pistol bullets. So there's a ton of ammunition. Oh god. Uh, I need a health kit and I only have one. Um, so you have a, a ton of ammunition for it. Which is especially at the start of the game really useful. Alright. Made it past there. Now we need to get out of here. Alright, let's try this. Alright, let's try this. I took out one of them. I took out another one. They're really clustering around right now. This is troublesome <laughs> to say the least. Um, I guess we're okay for now. <laughs> Alright, and we're back. And I'm trying not to walk into the anomaly this time. Let us try to loot these bodies, though. Right. Where is everybody? Ah, there's one. As you can tell, I can really lay down fire with this weapon. Because I don't have to worry about... about running out of ammunition. God, I'm so dead. Speaking of which, all right, welcome back, Privyet, and all that. We're still stuck in this tunnel where tons of bandits think they should just shoot me. Guess I can just run away, maybe, but 
And that's as far as I can get, basically. There we go, there's one of them up there. Two of them. Alright. We're gonna try to loot that dead body there. And then get the hell out of here. There we go, that's more like it. Alright, we actually have the gun now. Uh, I guess we're alright for now. Right, that was horrible. But uh, it pays off, believe me. Because this gun will be very useful in the time to come. If we can't survive the time to come. I generally think that it's more useful to use single shot in this game, even if you hit the button really quickly. Because... You're just much more accurate. And there's really no need to... Um, to shoot auto. Because people don't have a lot of hit points. Not just yourself, but also your enemies. That's especially true at the start of the game, but even later on, hit headshots will usually kill people in one shot, and with some of the better weapons, getting headshots is really easy. Oh, well, at least not that difficult. Right, I'm kind of overloaded right now. Um, and you know what, folks? I think this is where we end this cavalcade of deaths for the time being. And uh, continue next episode. Let's see what happens then, folks. Bye.